In meta materials, it's not like this. In meta materials, the properties are defined by the geometry. Oh, that's what you mean by geometry. Oh, exactly. My Let's get started with uh, getting to know you and your science. Yes. Um, so please explain your research to us in super simple words, please. Assume I'm 12 years old and yeah, all I know is thermodynamics gave you a cold. Tell me. Yeah, so I'm, I'm doing a PhD here um, broadly in optical metamaterials. Mm -hmm. Metamaterials are just some materials that instead of so they base their uh, properties instead of in the chemistry. So typically when we describe a material, and I'm in the material science department, so I should know that, you say like, okay, so this is uh, very tough because it's a steel. This is transparent because it, it's glass. So it goes back to what kind of atoms, what kind of chemistry do we have there? Mm -hmm. In metamaterials, it's not like this. In metamaterials, the properties are defined by the geometry that these materials have in a very sp specific way. Yes, so we... So the idea is a bit that by the geometry, by what kind of shapes and patterns you have on them, right. you can have you can change the properties of the material to a point where the properties are abnormal, are not what one typically finds in nature. Really? So when you say geometry, do you mean the crystal structure? It can be the crystal structure, but it can also be bigger things. So I I have this example over here, just by chance. Um, oh, wow. See, the, so just a disclaimer, this is not mine. This was a present that my, we'll get there, but my uh, office colleague during my master's thesis gave to me. He was working on mechanical metamaterials. I'm working in optical metamaterials. Right. But I think it symbolizes pretty well what happens. You know, like typically when you press a material in one direction, right. it will expand in the other direction. Correct. Right? Correct. Here you have a kind of material that when you press it in one direction, Right. It also compresses in the other direction. Right. Oh, that's what you mean by geometry. Oh, exactly. My and this is just because of how specifically these holes are made. I could not reproduce this. This is not my field. But basically, I do the same with optical properties. So oh my we God, like to design cool. materials that, I mean, the, the simplest example with uh, optical properties is, you know that typically when you put something like a straw or a pencil in a glass of water, yeah. It looks like the pencil is broken. And, and yeah. yeah, right? This is because of refraction and so on. This right. is because of the refractive index. Well, right. there are examples in optical metamaterials, and actually, I think to some extent, that's how the field got started. Sorry, uh, science historians. Um, <laughs> where you can have negative refraction. And if anyone hears Google's negative refraction water, you will find like this picture of the pen going into a glass. And then it coming in the in the opposite direction, or it looking like it comes in the opposite direction, and that's how it will look if it has negative refraction. So that's the idea, and this is just because of how we design the materials. We make things very very small, smaller than the wavelength in the case of uh, the optics, or smaller than the deformation in the case of mechanics. Right. And right. this changes the properties of the materials. 